Hey Libra, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for the week of July 8th through the 14th. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. And this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. And we have the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So I definitely feel like this week is going to be all about revelations and epiphanies and honestly it just kind of feels like you and someone that you are connecting to or with finally are going to go there. It's like you're finally going to go in that direction. Um, it kind of feels like if this is for you, you already know what I'm talking about and for some of you maybe this is something that you know you are envisioning or dreaming about but it kind of feels like it is definitely going to be a, rea a reality sooner than later kind of like right now this is definitely you know you're thinking about it you're visualizing it but i feel like it's going to be so real so concrete um we have the star which is aquarius six of swords three of wands and the lovers which is gemini so i definitely feel like that lovers card represents there is a divine union here i feel like the six of swords three of wands is that moving forward going to the next level taking that big next step maybe truly re you know moving or relocating uh, but you're definitely making some sort of expansion here i feel like with the star there's a lot of hope um for this connection but it also feels like this is a new beginning for both of you kind of like both of you are experiencing new things together both of you are feeling this way for the first time it's like there's a lot of mirroring of emotions and experiences so it's not like you're feeling like this for the first time but your person has felt it five times before like it feels very like you're much you're very much on the same page here which is so beautiful because you're sharing that um, all right, let's go ahead and clarify the Three of Wands. And we have the Seven of Swords. So I kind of feel like with the Seven of Swords, it's almost like there was something about this connection at the beginning of it that kind of felt like it was not going to work for some reason. Almost like this is one of those where you're like, we defeated the odds. You know, it's like something was against us. It was almost you know doomed from the start but here we are and maybe this is not going to resonate for everyone the same way but it feels like that seven of swords just really depicts some sort of an obstacle or a challenge that the two of you face together at the beginning of this journey so we have the seven of swords right behind it is the five of pentacles so definitely some you know some conflicts here something that was just not easy to handle um, but now we have the Magician, which is Gemini and Virgo energy, the Hierophant, which is Taurus, and the Nine of Pentacles. So it's like you, you went from feeling like the odds were against you to now all of a sudden you have all of the odds in your favor. It's like this Hierophant is that higher level commitment. This is that marriage card. This is, you know, someone saying, I want this forever. You know, I don't want this just for now. It's like, even the magician you're manifesting together you're manifesting from the same perspective nine of pentacles there's confidence here um to be confident in someone right to really feel like you can share that side of yourself or a life with that person it's like you have to really believe in this you know i feel like both of you are on that same page um let's clarify the lovers Ten of Pentacles. I feel like some of you are walking down the aisle at this point. You know, it feels like a lot of you have met your match, Libra. I feel like this is going to be such a beautiful week because it feels like there's not only a sense of just really feeling union, like togetherness, but it feels like there's a lot of things that are just happening, a lot of concrete plans in place. We have the High Priestess, which is Pisces ace of pentacles and the eight of wands so for some of you you're getting finally some sort of breakthrough or answer or response to something that you have been planning or wanting to do with your person um, for a while i feel like that eight of wands is that good news about the offer the opportunity i feel like with the high priestess maybe you can kind of feel it you can sense that something big is going to happen your intuition is kind of giving you a little bit of that nudge um, even this Ten of Pentacles, right? Confirmation, something really amazing is happening. And maybe for some of you, you know, there has been some trials and tribulations that made you question along the way if this was ever really going to happen. But now it's kind of like you have no reason not to believe that it's going to happen. You know, this is 
um, a lot of really reassuring stuff coming through. So definitely look out for messages this week about offers, opportunities, because I feel like they're going to be very much connected to the kinds of things that you and your person are looking to do. All right, let's clarify the star. And we have the Three of Swords. So I kind of feel like with the Three of Swords, maybe this is even about the fact that there's hope now after something that happened in the recent past that was just, you know, completely unprecedented, unexpected. Uh, we have the Knight of Swords, Nine of Cups, and the Ace of Wands. So maybe there is a perspective change. Maybe there is some sort of, you know, needing to see things differently in order to believe in this again. I do feel like with the Nine of Cups, there was uh, maybe some you know, having to put certain things into priorities or having to put some things before others before finally giving something a chance. I kind of feel like with the Nine of Cups, maybe you had to take your time or they had to take their time to, you know, take care or figure themselves out. Um, it's kind of like independently that you needed to be strong before you can come together and be strong because that could have been what didn't work in the past. It's like you both tried to, you know, create something while the foundation was not, you know, while the foundation was weak, pretty much, and it kind of just didn't go the way that you planned. So now it feels like with that maturity, with that ability to th see things differently, I feel like that's why there's hope now. That's why this is a new start and it's fresh. And it does feel different for both of you because I feel like you're learning together. Um, and even that Knight of Swords, this is about the fact that you're not just moving with confidence, but you're moving with conviction. You know, you're really both serious you know at least somebody here is very serious and they're going to do whatever it takes um so really love this for you hope you take it all in and if you like this reading and it resonated please give it a like please subscribe and i will see you in the next one